Hi there, and you're watching Waterfall Formation with Mr Mercer on Geography Geeks. Another common question, you'll be asked to explain how a waterfall forms. As usual, you should try and break your answer down into a sensible structure, and I would recommend three diagrams. The first diagram would look something like this, with three identifiable labels. Label number one will represent hard rock a layer of hard rock. Next to that layer of hard rock we have label number two which is indicating where the area of softer rock would be. At label number three you want to indicate that the river flowing over the top of this structure of hard and soft rock causes differential erosion to take place. Differential erosion is when erosion takes place at two different speeds. Okay. In diagram two, you want to show that the erosion of the soft rock at point four um, undercuts the hard rock. You should mention in label four the two processes of erosion that are relevant here, those being abrasion, when the water carrying sediment and particles of rock wears away the banks of the river, and hydraulic action when the sheer force of the water forces water and bubbles of gas into weaknesses in the rock, breaking them apart. At point five, you want to show that there is an overhang of unsupported hard rock ready to collapse. And that takes you on to diagram three, where, of course, you would point out that the hard rock overhang has collapsed, and therefore the waterfall has retreated back upstream. And at location 7, the fallen pieces of hard rock swirl around, eroding a plunge pool. So, in summary, mention the hard rock next to the soft rock, mention differential erosion, and then once you get to label 4, make sure you talk about hydraulic action and abrasion wearing away the softer rock, by point five, make sure you've mentioned that the unsupported overhang of hard rock is about to collapse, or has collapsed. And then, by the end of the diagram, make sure you wrap up with a plunge pool being created by swirling hard rock fragments. Um, and you can also mention, of course, that the waterfall retreats upstream. If you've got any questions about this, come and find me in class. Otherwise, try drawing these diagrams, and then labelling it from memory. Okay, I hope that helped.